Well, this is what Ford calls the next gen Ford Ranger. It's the uh, first evolution or the new generation of the T6 since 2011. So we've waited more than a decade for this vehicle. It's effectively an evolution of the first T6 Ranger and um, it features a lot of enhancements across the board including new styling, change of suspension, powertrains and uh, of course styling. Because it's an evolution it's effectively pretty much the same size. It's a bit bigger than the old one um, and uh, significant changes are in the wheelbase which is 50 millimeters longer than the previous model or the the front wheels have come closer to the front which also improves the uh, the approach angle and uh, the track is also 50 millimeters wider so when you combine the longer wheelbase and the wider track it's got a, a bigger footprint on the ground and uh, feels even more planted than the last one now this model is the XLS uh, which is effectively one step up from the XL entry-level model so you could describe it as a more upmarket version of the base workhorse so it's um it's quite a nice mix so uh let's have a look around it well as you can see the, the most obvious thing is in the new styling and uh the front uh has a very close relationship or has certainly been inspired by its us cousin the f-series uh ford trucks really really good looking big strong um bold american look at the front of it and it really suits this truck in this scale so uh, it's a very good looking machine from the front uh, and it also gets uh, halogen fog lights and halogen daytime running lights um, 16 inch alloy wheels big chunky alloys are part of the uh, standard xls specification and uh, have a quick look inside and as you can see it's a complete redesign of the dashboard and it's got these really nice graphics like this driver's information display in front and this really big 11 inch screen uh, which uh, Ford have moved a lot of functions into which cleans up the dashboard design quite a lot and makes it very easy to use but uh, the good thing is they also maintain some analog uh, operations down here too so you can either use the touch screen or these and uh, it works very well indeed you can see the dashboard's just been completely redesigned all sorts of different textured surfaces and uh, very car like to uh, to sit in for sure nice big roomy back seat as well and uh, with that increase in uh, in track there's a little bit more uh, interior space so uh, it was already one of the the more spacious interiors with the previous T6 so it's just made um, a spacious cabin even more spacious you notice here too with the uh, tech pack that's been ordered with this vehicle you get the, the vents for rear seat passengers in the XLS which is good you can see this uh, part of this restyling look at this rear guard it's got this lovely big curve in it here which covers the wider track very very stylish the way they've done the bodywork uh, XLS where you can see that it's meant for uh, the tradesperson because it's got this um, useful headboard protecting the rear window and it's also got these pop-up load retainers here so if you're carrying planks of water pipes or whatever that keeps them nicely in place uh, around the top of the load tub here there's little caps here and you can lift these to uh, when you bolt, want to bolt something to the load tub like um, you know ladder racks pipe carriers what have you so that's uh, that's pretty convenient too another thing they thought of too Ford has been listening to its customers here they noticed that when they were talking to customers accessing the tub they were putting their feet up on the tire here to pull themselves into the tub area so what Ford said well we're going to design a little step here so they put this little step um, behind the wheel and uh, it's just the right size for a decent sized boot and it helps you get access to the load tub which is uh, which is good nice big step on the rear bumper redesigned tailgate with this very thick swage line across here and Ranger uh, embossed into the metal looks very nice uh, this one uh, this XLS also has the optional um, spray and tub liner which is a great idea in terms of protecting your truck uh, another couple of examples of Ford's thought about customers or certainly based on feedback from customers is this um, ruler along here it's uh, it runs about 1.3 meters in length and it's all marked out in centimeter increments so 
Um, that's handy if you're out on the job site and you need to measure something quickly. You can just lay it across this, this ruler here. And also, these little trap doors, if you just put your finger there, you can see that they're spring-loaded. And the idea with that is, if you're laying something along here and you need to clamp it, you can just put a G-clamp in there and, and clamp it and use the, uh, the tailgate as a workbench. So they're two really, really good ideas in terms of uh, how useful this vehicle can be and it's clearly based on um, customer feedback. And you can see there's a torsion bar down here too which makes uh, lifting the tailgate really, really easy. It's just so light. So that's another, another nice touch as well. A lot of thought's gone into this vehicle without a doubt. Um, one ton payload, which is great, and still toes up to the class benchmark, 3,500 kilograms of brake trailer, so uh, plenty of work capacity there. I really love this colour too, Sedona Orange, it's one of the new colours in the range, really nice. I'm not, I don't normally like gold colours on cars, but this has got a really rich blend of orange and gold, and it really sparkles in the sun, looks great. So for what is, as I described, an upmarket workhorse, this is a very good looking truck. No two ways about it. So um, we certainly like the way it looks. Let's go and see how it drives. Okay, underway in the uh, new for 2022, next generation Ford Ranger. Now, this one is powered by an engine that's familiar from the, the previous generation. That's the two litre bi-turbo or twin turbocharged uh, two litre four cylinder diesel. And uh, that's got 154 kilowatts of power and 500 newton meters of torque. Now, in this class of vehicle, that's ample. And uh, certainly class competitive with some of the best ones in this class. And that's paired with another transmission that we're familiar with, the really smooth shifting Ford 10 speed torque converter automatic, which is a, a very slick shifting and nice transmission to use. So that's a great combination. And in four wheel drive models like this, it's uh, certainly XLS grade. It's matched with a uh, dual range part-time four wheel drive system. And it also has a remote uh, locking rear differential. So it's a pretty, pretty strong sort of drivetrain combination. And keep in mind that two liter bi-turbo is the standard engine for uh, all models going from the XLS right up to the wild track. So um, it's going to get plenty of use in this new generation of Ford Ranger. As I said, because it's a, an evolution of the previous model, it certainly has a, a familiar feel to it, but it just feels, feels better, it just feels more refined. I mean, the fact it's got a longer wheelbase and a wider track means it's got a larger footprint on the ground. And it's just got a, a very sure-footed, well-planted feel. And uh, that's very nice in terms of uh, driving enjoyment because um, there's very little body roll when you're going around through corners, so it's more stable laterally. And uh, it's just overall a, a slightly nicer thing to drive because the old one was so good to drive to start with. Very, very smooth over the bumps as well. Other thing I've noticed is that the, uh, the cabin environment is very quiet very quiet in here they've done an excellent job with the the noise insulation steering feel is excellent it's always been one of the best in the class arguably the best in uh, in this ute segment it's um, 
nicely weighted, you know, very light at parking speeds, but then it increases in terms of its firmness and directness as the speeds increase, which is what all good variable ratio power assistance should do. So the verdict, well, Ford have definitely improved what was already an excellent uh, dual cab ute. And that's really saying something because uh, how high they set the bar originally with the T6 Ranger, but they've managed to do it and in so many different areas. So if you've been holding out and waiting for the new Ranger, well, I'll tell you what, the wait has been worth it because it sets a new benchmark in this category. And I'm sure he's gonna be a fierce competitor for many years to come.